Hi, this is Akisi Auto for job 26141. This is North Park Lane Condominiums. Uh, it's an asphalt and curb job. Asphalt was done February 5th through 7th by Corey's crew, and the curb was done February 8th by Brendan's crew. Uh, so there's two locations here. I'll handle this uh, north side of the lot and then go over to the south side. So <clears throat> this place has some interesting uh, berms installed and weird grades all over. Uh, so there's a couple of spots that have some issues still, but I don't think we really could have solved two of them. Um, we do have one that we tried to fix after we paved a puddle in it and it did pretty good, but there's still some residual water sitting around it. I'll get to that later. Um, and then a couple little things with the curb. Some positives, um, crew identified on site that this yard drain was crushed. And so we put in a traffic rated drain there and redid this. Um, that looks really good. Nice job on that one. I'm gonna kind of try and run through this because it's kind of big, so the video's not too long. This patch looks great, simple. Keeping the water flowing on the outside here through this curb. Now it just kind of sits there and this is kind of a no man's land here in this patch. Um, so the water has to run down this way and then that's where it would need to try to get and it can't get there. Um, and then if you build this up, it would trap water on the inside. So I think we're kind of locked into having this puddle here. Um, it is tight and eventually does flow through, but that puddle will sit there until it goes uh, one of the directions. They already flipped this lid and we did this handwork patch along the front here. Mix looks good. There is a couple hangups as we see right here, holding water, getting onto the patch a little bit, and then a couple of small, slow puddles that are cruising through, but still hanging up a little bit, as you can see that one there. But again, this is freakishly tight and the basin's dropped as low as it can be. So there's tight tolerances there. If I go up to the lower spot. Good job on the seams, by the way. You can barely see these paver seams in here. Some of the best seam work we've done in a while. Looks really good. Um, so this big patch, kind of a goofy shape, tricky for paver, but where we did our sit downs, where we had to do our hand rakes, they're really blending nicely. So it looks like one consistent mat, which is good. Um, was bid to put in one riser down here. We had to put two two inch risers. We raised that up four inches um, and fix that drain. So that one looks really good. And the water comes down and flows into that nicely. Now I'll head over to the back side where we did the big pave. So the section I was just in was one day R and R over the other side of the lot, which is accessed through a different area. We had two days, one to remove it and one to pave it back. I think Corey said we had 17 headers on this section. So this is a really difficult um, shape to pave. Overhangs here on the garages, and then just it goes out and in and out and in and out and in and then back over there. So the way they had to do it was kind of goofy. On this back section, there's a couple, there was one low spot here that they tried to come and torch and add fines to. Pretty good job blending that. Um, but there is still just a hair of a hang up there, but it's not the puddle that it was before. And then the water gets in and they have a, a trenched flow line built in to get water to flow to again, another basin that couldn't be lowered anymore. Screaming off the building, but then extremely tight out here in the lot. So we do have water, but it's super thin and it is moving towards the basin there and then it loops around there's a slight crown break right here and it flows down to this basin which same story again underneath that car already been flipped can't be lowered anymore and that's the story with all these basins out here so um obviously we had to do this back section or this section first and then work this one out and so there is a really cold seam here that was blended fairly well but i think we can do a little bit more on torching the existing before we rake this in and just making sure we don't have any of the stuff up on top and when we're raking we're buttoning it up and finding that clean edge um really great job out to the road looks good nice slight invert to keep that water flowing down the center 
and good job working around these planters, making nice radiuses. It does look really nice out here. Good square edges for these small parking areas. Just a nice job keeping it tight angles on all these weird little jog ins and outs. It does make it look a lot better. Now we'll get over to the curb section. So curb wise, the, the finished product looks really nice. It's a good, our curb mix just looks really clean. You can tell nice consistent top edge, good even brakes. The one thing I would do differently though, is I would pull that straight all the way. I can tell we followed our asphalt that came out like that. But if we would have just had this curb straight all the way and then radius in, it'd look a lot better. It's just kind of got that bow out, which doesn't look terrible when you're on the inside. It does buy them a little bit of room trying to turn into these garages, but um, just looks a little off. And then it did get stepped in as well. Somebody hit it right there. But besides that, I mean, finish is really nice. Good 45 down. Our curb final product is looking a lot, a lot better. So nice job keeping that top edge nice and square and consistent all the way along. All in all, really tricky, goofy shaped, extreme flows to no flow down at the bottom. You know, a couple little things here, but all in all, and nice job getting back out. I know that was planning with Kevin and Corey to get out and handle that puddle while we were out here on the first one. So uh, it is really minimal. And the rest of it is slowly flowing down. So all in all, I think it's a pretty good job on this one. This was tricky. All right, that's it.